Okay, here's a cute little Alco Hi-Fi AM table radio. It's a Japanese set. This is the kind that uses the, the chassis that slides in on these two little plastic rails here. Um, those ones are different from the ones just the ones that just plop right into the chassis. So keep that in mind if you have to swap the chassis on them. But since I don't feel like taking the chassis back out, this is basically what they look like on the inside. Very compact, very cramped, and a big pain in the butt to work on. But as long as you pull through and you don't give up, you may pull through. And I don't know if that one has the same tuning coil but or the antenna, but that thing is probably... Le probably an inch or less or maybe a, a little bit over an inch but this one obviously is for parts I've gotten quite a few parts off of it a little tuning capacitor but these could have been bought at dime stores back in the day for like I have a box for a DeVille one actually the DeVille's right here I ended up screwing up the um chassis for it but maybe I'll find another chassis to put in it and I had it I got a Juliet tube set or today looks just like this but it has the um, metal grill and I don't have one of those that has the metal grill so what I did is I had an arctic one you may see that one in another video took its grill off and put um that metal grill on that cabinet because some idiot the seller I think painted the cabinet some ugly blue yeah maybe one day I'll find a another chassis to put in now these are like the mon this was like a monarch or monocore same thing Claricon they made these under a bajillion different brand names this one's Alco Hi-Fi yeah Hi-Fi my my keister this thing's far from Hi-Fi well, I replaced the filter capacitor in it. This, that one, it worked fine. I just wanted to see if I could, just to see if by replacing it, if I screwed it up or not. But yeah, there's multiple leads and they're really thin. But this is just, this is the capacitor out of this one. The one that's in here is a little bit taller and skinnier, I think. But. Like, I think this ter this terminal right here is, or no. This terminal right here is ground or common. Um. <clears throat> Whoops, ate too many beans. Anyway. Yeah, so. Let's get to showing this, and the volume control is kind of screwed up. And this one's not perfect. It has a little bit of imperfections. And this is a... It's crazy how much a um, 20 microfarad... I'll demonstrate. See, that's all the way down. Let's turn off this light. Just trying to breathe because all this. Okay, now I'll show you. That's a modern, this is a Samwa 22 microfarad. 
This is a some brand, some capacitor I got from Antique Electronic Supply. This is 47. Well, it hasn't gotten that much smaller, but, well, especially this, but you get the point. They've come a long way, especially coming from one of these or... You know what I'm talking about, like, one of the multi-sections that's, like, old, that's really big, but anyway, there you go.